So in this video, I just wanted to talk about a specific type of antibody um, ID panel that you might do, and more specifically one that involves a patient that has either developed anti-D because they're Rh negative or a mother that is Rh negative and has received Rogam. And what complicates things is that a majority of the cells on an ID panel are uh, positive for D antigen. So they would all be positive with somebody who has anti-D or Rogam. Um, and basically in these cases, what you'll have to pay attention to is some of the Rh negative or the D negative cells in the uh, ID panel. And they usually mark the ones that you would use for a rule out um, it's pretty common for labor and delivery departments when you have RH negative mothers. Um, this is what you would do as far as your panel, just to make sure there's no underlying antibodies beneath the D. Um, so here's an example I have. The first three cells on the left were for my antibody screen, and the first two are about a 1+. plus. So in this case, it was um, a labor and delivery patient. I called. They told me when they received Rogam, so I know that it wasn't an anti-D. Um, so then you would just go ahead and, and do the rule out cells, which was four, five, and I'm sorry, five, six, and seven for this particular panel. That's what these cells are here, and they're all negative. And that just basically eliminates the possibility of underlying antibodies. Um, and it's just important when you do these to make sure that you call and document when the patient received Rogam so you can determine whether or not it's Rogam or an actual anti D. Thanks for watching.